With the introduction of the early preschool, Father Arnold saw the opportunity to finally create a Catholic grade school. It would only be wise to educate those children further while also giving them an education in the Catholic faith. By the very next year, Father Arnold had received the blessings of the Diocese of Agagna through Bishop Umgartner to provide Catholic education to the children of Saipan. In early 1952, with the support of parents of the Chalancanoa Parish, it was decided that the ruins of the old Japanese sugar mill in back of the Mount Carmel Cathedral would be a fitting place to build the first Mount Carmel School of Saipan. The Chalancanoa Sugar Factory was the largest sugar factory in the Pacific, but after war the factory was in ruin. Yet a couple of the old structures still remained. One of particular interest was a large two-story structure that was once used as an administration building. Work was set out to remodel and rebuild the old neglected structures. The project became a community involvement and a labor of love for the community. Once renovations were complete, 40 children were enrolled in first grade. With these first classrooms came the continued dedication of the Mercedarian Sisters of Baritz. Sister Anna Maria, MMB, became the school's superior. Sisters Dolores Loranga and Sister Pia Giosachea became the first two teachers. In the very next school year, 1953 to 1954, a second grade was added from those of the first grade. Again, classrooms were built with the concerted efforts of Father Arnold the families of the students and students themselves through fundraising and voluntary services. Year by year new classrooms were prepared. New students registered and new teachers came to teach. The Mercedarian sisters and newly trained local educators were happy to serve. It was interesting and, uh, and fun also at that time. We had the two-story I recall the, the sugarcane factory. Uh, I had two or three classes in that building. Upstairs and downstairs. And then the, uh, I saw the buildings where the uh, current elementary school, grade school is, being built. Uh, I keep, it kept on expanding until all the way to the high school. Huh? And uh, saw Father Arnold out there sometimes yelling and screaming at people, workers, students. Uh, uh, students not only from Mount Carmel, but students also from the public school huh, for their uh, latrina. Uh, and at the same time, you know, all of these things are happening, but he's still guiding along the development and uh, expansion of Mount Carmel School. So, uh, we really do have to give credit to Father Arnold. Of the first teachers at the school in those developing years, none was more enduring than Sister Bertha Salazar. Upon her arrival on Saipan in 1954, Sister Bertha fell in love with the children and parents she met at the new school. As the school's newest second grade teacher, she also took on the role of the first elementary school principal. For the next nine years, she worked tirelessly under the pastorship of Father Arnold. In later years, Sister Bernadette Prochaska, the superintendent of Catholic schools in Saipan and Guam, would make reference to Sister Bertha as a great force in directing the development of Mount Carmel School. As the years progressed, more grades and classrooms were added to the school. And as each class and grade progressed to new levels, so did the school. By 1957, Mount Carmel School was set to undergo yet another renovation, one that would change the face of education in the Northern Mariana Islands forever. Happy 50th Jubilee Mount Carmel School from the founding class of 1964. Happy 50th Jubilee Mount Carmel School from your friends at McDonald's. We love to see you smile. Happy Golden Anniversary Mount Carmel School. Your memories will last a lifetime. 
Congratulations, Mount Carmel School, from the staff and management at the Hyatt Regency Saipan.